Oh, hey, Sarah and mom. Hey, Tegan. How are you? Mom, did you get a taste of Instagram live fame and just had to have a second round? She's basically an influencer now that we saw how popular her episode was. Actually, Sarah begged me to <laughs> <laughs> I actually said it's Tegan and I we are... found that episode so fun and fascinating and we're so tired of talking to each other that's what I said you. that's what I said I said uh Tegan and I are so bored of each other that someone has to come on the show and also <laughs> we need mom to help us with a with our peony plant um so she we're gonna have an activity later I love that I love that it's, well welcome back to the show to mom see, it's good to see you I really am missing you I know I I guess I saw you I saw you on Saturday Saturday or yeah. Sunday? Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't remember, but it feels like a long time ago. Yeah, we went we went um we went for coffee and uh and had lunch and then remember then a we guy had a little, we had a little bit of trauma. We had a little bit of trauma when we were sitting at, wrapping up lunch, um somebody lost control of their belongings like that was on a cart and it hit me. Um oh. and then we and then we cleared out of there <laughs> for that. Wow. I've never seen three people move so quickly. <laughs> and I felt so guilty because the poor guy, I, he, the stuff was everywhere. And I went over and apologized and said I couldn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to touch this. I didn't want to like, in, you know, anyway, yes, that was the last time I saw you. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day. Summer's hit Vancouver. Hi to everybody watching. Anyone who's not, who didn't watch a couple weeks ago, this is our mom, Sonia. Hi guys. Um, mom is the true... Uh, gardener in the family so everything I know briefly and forget soon after she leaves is um, it's like through the skilled lens of a true gardener and she's going to help us today a little bit with some stuff in the garden and we're going to talk about some of the some of the exciting new developments in the garden now that Vancouver has sun but first we're going to drink a very tart lime margarita together look at this backdrop it's very beautiful very lucky very nice it almost doesn't just, seem real. It I just doesn't want to clarify real. that I'm not a true gardener. I'm maybe just like a wing it kind of gardener. And today with the peony tree, I'm just going to be winging it. It's it's going to be exciting though. We've got uh, mom brought over a bunch of huge sticks, and we've got some twine, and we're gonna we're gonna give some support, uh, some 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 artificial support to our peony tree. And we're gonna go and look at the garden. There's lots of things happening in the garden. This is a big week. I just want to quickly start start this episode by saying uh, publicly, this is only the this is the second last episode. Next week is the season finale of this show. That's right. Where does the good grow is gonna go on hiatus. So it's gonna yeah. be where does the good grow go? Where where did where the, did grow? the where, good... where did the good grow go? <laughs> go. Um, we'll work on that in we'll work on marketing that in the marketing meeting. Yeah, we'll marketing work on that geniuses. in the marketing meeting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is going to be, we're going to take a little break, but next week, I think I'm pretty excited for the season finale. <clears throat> As promised a couple of episodes back, uh, we're going to have another guest on the show. It won't be a surprise. It's going to be Bruce and we are our stepdad and, um, and he and I are um, endeavoring to take on a deck building project for the show as our big season finale. Yeah. So um, I think that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, it is going to be really exciting. I feel um Really excited for you to have something new in your backyard, even though it's not a hot tub. I'm excited about the deck. I'm excited to take a little break from Where Does the Good Grow? It has been a real joy talking every week. And we I, I already am seeing some sad crying faces and no's in the comments. But, um, you know, we'll come back in the fall with something else. We actually so have, a, the truth we'll, is, we'll, we have some great the, ideas and tons of stuff coming. It's just. Yeah. We also, people are asking like, but why, why, why? The truth is, is that we're doing what they call in the biz. We're, we're, we're clearing some space for what we are going to be doing in August, which is um, some really fun. Uh, there's a launch of a project that we're really excited about. We, we just want to make space for that project to shine. And, um, and so you'll be seeing we're not going like, we're not going quiet. We're not going, um, we're not disappearing. We're just making some, some space on the old social media, uh, social media real estate for some of what we are releasing in the next month. Well, I'm also just like going to go on vacation. Yeah, well, that's true too. Some of it will be will not require our physical presence. But are we have we talked about the project that we're releasing in August? Yeah, are we allowed yeah, to? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we're putting out a remix record in August. Yep. Yep. And, and we have. Mm -hmm. No, no, please, please ma'am. No, please, no, please, no, you, no, please. please, no, please, please, you. Please. Go ahead, go for it. Go Mom, for it. Tell them about the remix project. <laughs> you should always leave them wanting more. 
play a little hard to get. Like, oh, do you think we're over? Are we overexposing ourselves after months of quiet? No? no, no. I mean, I just think that going away for a while is like playing a little hard to get. And for the girls out there in the world, I think girls need to play hard to get. Oh wow! Oh, okay. <laughs> now our next project is actually going to be a podcast with our mom, who's a therapist, and I come up with the whole thing. You guys tell me what you think um, in the comments. Uh, but I think that my mom should host a uh, podcast about dating and it's her. And then I'm going to um, cast uh, two other like kind of self-proclaimed love specialist comedians to sort of offset mom. And then uh, mom's going to give dating advice based on like uh, dating apps. And the app is going to be, or the, the show is going to be called Swipe Right, where my mom helps to autocorrect your past dating experiences so that you can swipe right. <laughs> wow. It's brilliant, right? Well, wow. let me know if you would listen to my mom host a podcast that I'm pro executive producing from here in Vancouver as I explore my other options as the music industry collapses during the pandemic. Sounds fun. How much has mom negotiated her deal? Because I am her manager. And so I would like to be included in whatever the splits and bonuses on that endeavor are. Mom, you can have... Very I was a gonna... very good dater. I can't imagine I would give you very good dating advice. Yeah, but you're Play hard to get. Play hard no, to no, get. No, no, no. But mom, here's the thing about the podcast is that like, you're not going to be telling people how to date. You're also, you're going to be, you're going to be exploring how people uh, build their profiles on a, on a social media, um, you know, dating app and talk them through like they, what they think are the like, like why people are looking for certain things, why people swipe right versus swipe left. And you're going to coach them through that. Like maybe they're not seeing the full picture. Maybe they're not, first of all, maybe they're not just seeing who they are fully, but then also like maybe you can dive into their past a little bit and look Sounds at. Sounds like you'd be really good at it this. It does sound like you're quite, you have <laughs> you quite a vision like for this. You really got some skill. <laughs> well, I'm going to be the executive producer. So I'll, you'll hear, you'll hear my voice on the, the podcast too but like you know we'll hire professionals i'm not a professional i don't know you're sounding pretty professional and i got you in my ear right now and i'm like that's mom's ready to end her long-term partnership and start over swiping right with a new with a new uh the new lease on life just kidding michael so. just kidding michael she's no. not going anywhere oh it's too hard i can't believe you no know, one has said anything about the fact that i'm wearing hard. yellow i was gonna comment that you look very nice in yellow by the way would you like to show would you like to show us the shirt? Okay. Here's the shirt. Okay. I like it. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. It's a long sleeve. Someone made a joke. You guys said that summer had finally hit Vancouver and all of us are wearing long sleeves and Sarah's wearing a jacket. But guys, that's <laughs> summer in Vancouver. <laughs> Listen, I left home and it was cloudy. And by the time I got here, the sun was out. And I was like, I am in leggings and long sleeve and I'm sweating. Do you want to know what also mom and I are in? I guess. Oh, wow. Crocs. <laughs> Very nice. We didn't get, let's take a longer look at those. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. I got some serious charms going on as well. Look at this. Put it closer to the thing, Mom. Okay, so you got a rainbow charm. I didn't know Uggs could have charms. Very nice. They're not, they're not Uggs. They're Crocs. Sorry, Crocs. <laughs> wow. Sorry, 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 sorry. Very nice. Uh, BTW, a friend of mine who I hung out with today, told me that yeah. her friend started Crocs and they stole the idea from her. And she had the original Crocs that were not called Crocs. This sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> wow. Um, these aren't my Crocs. These are Stacy's Crocs. I, I told the family that uh, everyone in the family except for me and you got Crocs, Tegan. And Stacy was like, very... She was like, you, why don't you just pick out a pair of Crocs? You're going to wear mine. And I was like, no, I don't want them. Those shoes are ugly. And then um, she got them uh, yesterday, and I'm already wearing them because they're on the deck. And I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if there was just two pieces of wood with some rope, I'd strap those on. You know, like, it's just. You're saying that you, you're embracing Crocs because they are, you don't own sandals. They're convenient when you're, when you're heading outside. Yeah, like when it's like, Stacy puts them by the door, and I just put them on my feet, you know. Like yeah. I'm not, it's not a, it's not a, I'm not saying one way or the other. Although I do think they, I think I look pretty cool actually. I like them a lot. Yeah. And by the way, there are other shoes at the door. She did choose the Crocs. <laughs> well, there's like, that's true. There are, there are a pair of sneakers, but these did seem comfortable and they kind of looked cool. Um, so as we are uh, uh, entering summer, finally, it's a late summer. It's been sad. It's been sad. It's been raining a lot, but it's like been so nice. Um, why don't we all talk a little bit about what we've been doing with our summer? 
I'll start. I went to the beach. Um, I went to a dog beach because I was with friends with a dog. It was lovely. Have you been to the dog beach? I have not, but I just have to take the water taxi across and it you can yeah. land there and you can actually take the dog with you. It, there's the whole it. beach was filled with dogs. It Wait, where's actually, the dog beach? Where's that? It's at the um Mariner the Mariner's Museum. Oh you know where, yeah, yeah, right, of course. Right by Pittsburgh yeah. before that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's there. It was it was really it was really nice. We went and we met friends who have a dog, lovely dog, cute little dog named Chrissy. And um and we got um some food and we um we had a beverage. Um may not be may not have been legal, but it we did have a beverage on the beach. People had their dogs, people were playing with frisbees, dogs were swimming. I mean, it was just it was really it was really nice and I kept thinking to myself, gosh, it'll be so nice when we can bring Tilly and Tegan your yet to be um, adopted dog um, to the beach. It'll be so nice. What a fun family activity. How wholesome. Yeah, well, I have some follow-up questions. First of all, the dog on the beach that you were there, the dog you went to the dog beach with, the dog's name was Chrissy? Yeah, Chrissy. So like a human name. I mean, what is a human name? What is a dog's name, you know? Well, we know what a human name and a dog name is. A dog name is Fido. You would never name a human that. Well... That sounds like a challenge. Maybe if I get, if I have a kid, I'll call it Fido just to show that you can. Spot? Rover? I don't think so. But but Chrissy, I just bring this up because as many people who watch the show will know that when I get a dog, I'm going to name it a human name like Brad or Derek. Melissa. Melissa is perfect. Yes, exactly. I'm really big on this because I think that for people who didn't see this in one of our really where is a good grow episodes, I can't think of anything funnier than calling for your dog but it's you're calling a human name. Everyone will become alarmed. Like everyone's gonna be like, do you have a kid? Is your kid missing? And you're like, no, there Brad! was a dog. There was a dog on the beach called Stacy. Somebody kept calling Stacy and Stacy kept being like, do I know, I don't have any friends. Like, I don't even know who that could possibly be, but it was actually a dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's catching on. Maybe it's someone who, I mean, the market is, it's flooded. Mom, you told me this the other day, but a family member said that dogs are the new toilet paper. It's impossible. We can't get a rescue. We apply at every, we're following maybe a dozen agencies. We apply for, we're applying for dogs we don't even want. And so not getting you, a response. You don't, maybe what you should but, do is, But, but I want to add to this, like, because every week I always say this. Screaming. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Christ. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll calm down. Calm the um, fuck down. Uh, I there was like a bunch of listings that came online last night at one of the rescues that we're interested in. And like, this was, this is an example of one of the things that we run into is that like, this was a dog and it's like, this dog's 110 pounds. He hates children and cats. So far he doesn't seem to like women. Please apply if you, you know, if there's two of you and you're like, you know, like it's like that extreme, like the dogs that are available, it, it, they make it seem like, there's definitely no way that I could have that dog. And then the like smaller dogs, I don't know. Like I said, like they're just getting dozens and dozens of applications. I, I, I just like the other day, Sophia and I were driving okay. and we saw the cutest dog. Just wait, we saw the cutest dog. And Sophia was like, I don't know, should we go to like an ATM and just take out like a thousand dollars and just drive around and ask people, hey, how much do you love your dog? Like a thousand dollars cash right now take it off your hands because i know tons of people who want to get rid of their dogs you, you know i have a suggestion you go to the dog beach there's so many dogs and so many people scoop playing one up. You just scoop one up <laughs> well i don't want to steal the dog i'm willing to i mean this is the thing is that everybody for years now every time i mention a dog <laughs> it's like the comments fill with like you know adopt don't shop and like at this point i will shop at an adoption agency like i don't even want a dog for free like i'll pay like hit me up how after 12 episodes of where does the good or i'm sorry 11 episodes of where does the good girl begging for a fucking dog i can't get a dog i don't know i don't even you want a dog do. anymore now i want to move to italy surprise i'm just gonna rent a house that's i don't even want a fucking dog anymore well they this is why you can't this Make sure not... you get an extra room because I'm going to come with you for a while. <laughs> this is why you can't get a dog. It's because you have the spirit of somebody who would just decide on a whim to go to Italy and now you don't want one. It's like when you want Now pet... I don't want one. We've been trying for a really long time. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? It's, it's too, too... Dogged determination. Dogged determination. Two things. One. The other day, Stacy said to me, how much would somebody, how much money would it take for you to let someone buy Mickey 
And I, she said, like, if it was your cat, <laughs> my cat, Mickey, she was like, because we're always talking about, like, he's, he's actually sleeping right behind us right now. We, he's very sweet. Such a good boy. He is sweet. But, like, he's so annoying, and we're always talking about how, like, it was a mistake to get him. We should have stopped with Holiday, you know, like, the whole thing. But so... So the other day, Stacy was like, like, how much would it cost? Like, $10,000? Like, if someone said, I'll give you $10,000 for Mickey, would you take it? Isn't that terrible? I mean, would you, I... would you give, would you give Tilly away for $10,000? Yeah, she's getting near her. She's on a good run. Wow. Why not? I said no. I said I didn't even like, I didn't actually like the game that Stacy was okay. trying to play with me because I didn't even want to find a number because there is, there is a number in my mind, but now I, there wasn't before Stacy started playing the game. Two, second thing. Um, one thing I th- was thinking about that you could offer, because this is a thing that is problematic for me and Stacy. when we lived in Los Angeles, we had Uncle Steven, um, a good friend of ours who would come and stay at our house and he would take care of the cats. And he became like, he was truly an uncle to the cats. He loved the cats. I still send him pictures. He's a lovely man. So talented. Miss him so much, Steven. Um, but we don't really have that in, um, in Vancouver. And I was thinking that you and Sophia could make yourself dog sitters. You could offer for the summer season. If people are going away for a week on vacation or something, you could just like foster people's dogs. Well, in the spirit of fostering, we are also applying for every dog that's, they're just looking for a foster right now. And we can't even, they, they won't even approve us for that because we've never fostered before. But I hear what you're saying. We are cat sitting this weekend for cousin Jen. Right. Cat sitting her new cat, Stevie, who is a real love bug. She's, she's just like, a she's a really she's, nice cat. She's, she's really just nice. like, she, I posted this to Instagram stories a couple weeks ago. We took care of the cat and Stevie just like climbed on top of Sophia and just started doing that, that biscuits thing that cats do. And I was like, we could just take her. Yeah. Um, we, we started looking at cats again. Yeah, that, because... makes, that excites me. Yeah, because we're like, oh, my God. Anyway, I'm, we're belaboring it, but we're trying. But, yeah, well, now it's taken so much time. We've started to wonder. I don't know. Now I'm starting to think, not that the pandemic feels like there's an end in sight, but we started to talk about, like, well, what are we going to do when the pandemic ends or when, when maybe things aren't as bad? Like, if we can't tour until there's a vaccine, what do we want to do? And then we were like, well, maybe this is all meant to be. Maybe we can do some international travel and we'll get a dog at the end of that. You both look perplexed you by that go, line of thinking you but to, you can go to Tiki's shelter in Greece and he has 400 and some dogs and people travel from all over the world to go to his shelter and pick out a dog and there are so many dogs and they're so beautiful and they're like I go to Greece get a dog from Greece okay that seems, it's I just know. across the water from Italy I think that's so, <laughs> I think you guys are I think you guys are being so realistic let me just quickly show you Mickey I would sell him it's not ten thousand, but there there is a number, but it's not it's not. 10, Maybe 000. we should put Mickey up for auction on Prizeo and raise money for Tegan and Sarah Foundation. <laughs> no <laughs> way, absolutely not. <laughs> I do. Mom, I do. Mom, love. mom, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing this summer? I know it hasn't been summer summer yet, but what have you been up to? Um, well, Tilly would not like the dog beach because she doesn't like dogs, and so we go to the beach and we erect a tent so she can be inside on the beach and nobody knows she's there. So you sneak her onto the beach illegally. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we put her in a tent. But it's like My an tent. open air tent. It's not a closed tent. It's like a yeah. beach tent. So it's just a, it's more of like a canopy almost, but it has sides. It's pretty awesome. Sarah and Stacy lent it to us and it's like terrific. We let Why do you? In, we just laid in the tent yesterday and we really enjoyed it. Um, You know, I mean, summer's been a bit of a drag. What, what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you guys do? When you're on the beach in the tank, read, you read, sip, read, sip read. a beverage. You have beverages. We have some snacks. I would go in the water. Yesterday I went into the water. Do you wear a bathing wow. suit? Yeah. Like you wear a bathing suit and like you have like a short shorts and top. And then like when it's time to go in the water, you like disrobe and you go into the water in your bathing suit. Yeah. No, no. I wear a bathing suit. And I go into the water. I don't need to disrobe because I'm sitting in the sun at the beach in my bathing suit. Okay, got it. And the other thing is I get to wear my Crocs in the water. And it was awesome yesterday because you can walk on the rocks in the water. So you're just like, like how deep do you go into the water? Maybe that deep. Okay. So so why do you have a bathing suit on? Why don't you just like wear shorts? Because I'm at the beach. She just wants to. What happened? You were about to say what? You did something bad? 
Yeah, I did something really bad. I knew it. <laughs> you know, Mom, I just want to say before you tell me that, like, when we were editing, well, when I was editing the episode you were on, as everybody knows, I, like, edit some of the funnier bits to put up on, you know, to, to, to advertise where does a good girl. Everything from your episode is so funny, but I could barely come up with content because everything you said out of context, I was like, Mom's going to get canceled. Like, the internet's <laughs> going to cancel Mom. Like, you admitted to tossing a seagull off of a thing because you thought they could fly. You... You admitted to tossing a starfish into the back or, or anyway, continue. I, I did. What was she what supposed did, to do? Do CPR on the on a starfish that a seagull dropped? They're actually I mean, quite firm. Like, yeah, she didn't. It's not. She, odd. They're well, odd. she's not like an accessory to murder. A seagull picked up a starfish, dropped it on our house. What was she supposed to do about it? You didn't. It was fine. I'm, I'm saying in context, the story was very funny. I wasn't worried about you. But as I was editing the content, I called Sarah and I said, you know, a lot of mom's best bits from this week. Let me. I'm concerned let me just, she'll get canceled. Let me just say, Tegan is obsessed with being canceled right now. She's so worried we're going to get canceled. What does that mean when you get canceled? It just means we're over because we like did something wrong or said something wrong. Oh. Which that's not going to happen. I don't look at I don't look at comments, so I'm fine if yeah. people cancel me. Yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried any of us are going to get canceled. We're good people. Tell us what you did at the beach that was so fucked up yesterday. Go ahead. Well, the tide was out, and you know Tilly doesn't like to swim. And so if you throw a stick in, she like walks into the water and she like gets the stick and she comes back out. But if it's too deep, she doesn't like to go in. So the tide was out and I took her to the side of the tide where the water was really deep. And I knew it was deep and I threw the stick in and she went to step in. (laughs) She she fell into the water and went under the water. And then I was like, oh God, what if I would have had to get in the water to save her? But then she started to swim and then she like swam back out. And it was very, very funny. She was very insulted. She didn't want to look at me for a long time. Imagine well, that someone was filming mom. She would have ended up like in one of those, one of those Karen videos where it's like mom tries to drown her dog. You know. Well, I think generally Karen videos, just to qualify, I'm pretty sure my understanding of Karen videos is you have to be doing something ex- like you have to be doing something terrible to another person. I mean, it might okay. be a different yeah. name for... I'm going to tell you something. She really enjoyed getting cooled off. Like, she didn't realize she was going to get cooled off, but she got, like... So did she down. go back in the water? Like, it was yeah, just, like... Yeah, she went back in today. She was oh. fine. She was fine. So They're she likes it. it. Yeah. You're teaching her. You're teaching her. Sure. Yeah. Teaching her to swim. I remember when you get, got Tilly, I was there when she came to visit you for the first time and I was sitting on the floor and she came and ran and laid in my lap. And I was like the first time I was really like, Oh, I, maybe I could be a dog person. Tilly's a really sweet dog. Yeah. I mean, I had you there because I didn't feel comfortable getting a dog unless you guys approved. Like I was looking for approval. Hmm, What's that about? Well, cause we're cat people. And I was like, Oh, it's kind of like breaking the rules to get a dog. So I feel like I need to have one of them here to tell me it's okay. You know, what's so weird though. It's like as someone who is still, a cat person, dog people are the ones who are judgmental about, like, it's not actually cat people. Like, I, I've never met a cat person who's like, my God, dogs. But it's always dog people or non-pet people who are like, oh, I can't be around cats. Oh, my God. Like, people are very hateful against cats. I'm not because I'm a cat person. I know, but I'm just saying that do- it's actually dog people. Like, when you got a dog, I thought that was great. It was like, it helped inspire you to be outside more and get yeah. lots of exercise. And it really was like a wonderful thing. But it's, I just want to say, I have found over my years that dog people are the ones who are actually deeply insecure and judgmental. Well, I mean, I'm pretty judgmental of dog people sometimes. <laughs> so. um, okay, well, lots to unpack there. But do you want to know what cat people just, don't I do? Just, you know, you know what cat people would never do? Cat people would never like outfit their trailer and drive around doing YouTube videos of themselves on a beach with like their cat. That's untrue. That's not true. We follow so many adventure cats on Instagram. We have You're some cousins. We have cousins. We have some cousins. cousins. Our that's different. Put clothing. Ca- yeah, that's different. Yeah. That's different. What are you talking about? That's okay. different. There's it's different. Take a minute. Okay. Pause. Okay. Should I we go look at some to... plants? Nope. Nope. Not yet. One thing I want to do, first of all, is give a shout out to Karen, who's watching. Who Sorry, just, Karen. Who public? No, she just said, I'm a nice person and I'm actually kind of quiet. We do talk about this as a family because we know someone named Karen and we're like, uh, yeah, and we're like, oh man, imagine being named Karen. But I also just want to say to Karen, maybe you should go by your middle name because Karen is literally the perfect name for somebody who does Karen shit. Like really, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. Aside from that, um, or, or no, no, Debbie's Lin- different. Linda, Linda. 
That's Karen. It's just really That's just Karen. fully Karen. Um, okay. Just take a deep breath. We're just You're all... taking one? Yeah, I'm taking a moment, just clearing the air. Someone someone close to me told me recently that watching Where Does the Good Grow is extreme. Like, it's good. It's so funny, and they enjoy it, but also that they're like, it's a lot. Like, there's a lot happening. It's very fast. So just, like, collectively, you're in your backyard, the trees. It's summer. There's a lot happening. Yeah, it's just a beautiful just We feel relaxed. Moment. Yeah. We feel you very relaxed. Relax. Yeah. yeah. There's some, uh, psychologically, there's something about being on the top of the screen. You know, there's two of you, there's a back, like, like a, it's you a know, it's a responsibility being a cop. Yeah. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of extra work. Um, what are, what are, what are our plans this weekend? We're doing oh, something we're gonna... for the first time ever. Well, you didn't let me know if the projector was going to work. Do you think it's going to work? Yeah. Sophia said yes. Okay. She, great. So she says yes. So, I mean, take, take that out. Like she thinks it will work. So this weekend we, Stacy and I are hosting our first family backyard uh, outdoor movie viewing party. We're going to screen a film. What's the film called again? Stacy, what's the film called? Oh, Guys, do you think this is funny? Look, what's, what's like I'm looking for Stacy too. The Old Guard. The Old Guard. It has Charlize Theron in it, and we're going to watch that. We're going to watch that, and um, and we're going to screen it in the backyard. And we're going to all and sit. We're going to order Cineplex popcorn. We're going to well. order Cineplex popcorn, and we're going to have some candy snacks, and everyone's going to have chairs. Um, we're going to get a bunch of citronella candles because it is like mosquito fucking nightmare. So everyone's going to be in beekeeper outfits so that no one gets stung. And um hazmat suits but yeah no we're really excited we're gonna like we have a we've never done it before in the backyard but I feel like it's gonna be perfect I mean I have to bring my projector because yours is affixed to the roof of your yes yes true the the we I thought for some reason that it never occurred to me until last night that if we just turned the projector around and projected onto the screen and watched from outside everything will be backwards so we can't do that right so we're gonna so we're gonna try your I love it I love this plan I love this plan. I'm very excited. I, you have lots of. Chairs. Do you know what you movies? Have... Do you want to know what movies playing at the drive-in? This week. This weekend? Remember last week? Remember yep. last week? I said we, we missed Goonies and Lost Boys. That ship sailed. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mom, didn't we go see Fe Ferris Bueller's Day Off in Stanley Park last year? Do you know what I'm really missing this summer? Ma'am. Theater in the park. Mm. Yes, we did. We did, right? Yeah. Yeah. We went and saw yeah. and, and we went and saw Wayne's World. I was there. Yeah. And you know who I'm really missing is the girl that screams, the Evo girl. <laughs> yeah. There's like, when you go see, when you go see the outdoor movies in Vancouver, you go to Stanley Park and it's like, you know, people come, they put their blanket out, they stay there for hours. We've done that every year for the last like 15 years. But then last year we finally splurged and spent, I think it's like $30 and you get an actual seat so you can show up right before the movie. So you don't have to sit on the ground for 5 million hours because the sun doesn't go down here until like 10. But there's this, there's advertisements the whole time, but it's live. And there's an Evo is our car share here in Vancouver. And there's just someone that just advertises the whole time. And it, it's both hilarious and super, super annoying. But if Evo wants to sponsor us, I'll <laughs> retract that statement, apologize for it and happily take your money. Hey, do you want to see Emmy? Emmy, um, I just want to, uh, this joke is just for Emmy. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Emmy. No, it fell. It fell. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Put okay. it more into frame. It needs to be more into frame. Like this? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Emmy, this joke's for you. I do this on our weekly chat with our high school friends all the time, but check this out. Hello? Can anyone? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, God, we're so lame. Thank God we're going on hiatus. All right, guys, show us the garden. <laughs> Let's go do walk, some walking around in the garden. All right. Hey, guys, show us the garden. <laughs> show us the garden. Okay, I'm going to guide us. Oh, this is exciting, actually. This is, a, yeah, it's, this is the, this will be the second time that the, that the rose bush blooms. Wow. It's already, we're already, um, already seeing some roses again. That's amazing. 
all yeah. these bugs. Look at that. They're coming everywhere. They're all coming everywhere. They're really, yep. it's going to be really exciting. Okay, just going to negate here. Mom, make sure you close that. Mickey got out the other day. He ran and he got through the gate. It was very distressing. Just what showing happened? the Crocs. Just in case Crocs wants to advertise, do some um, advertising dollars for our last, for our season finale next week. Yeah, lesbians love Crocs. Crocs, shouting you out. Okay, so this is exciting. Mom, this is the, um, this is the... I am interested, you guys. Hosta. I just spilled something on the table. This That's is the hosta. Happen. Look at the okay. nice flowers on the hosta. Yeah, so these, this is a hosta that mom brought us. But, like, look, it's going to get these huge flowers. Oh, yeah. it's gonna okay, back, back, back up a little bit, you guys. Calm down. Beautiful. So that is a, a hosta. It's a, a, it's a hosta. And then it's got these, you can kind of see, see? You can open, like, these little purple. Yeah. So, okay, so this is kind of like all the, these are all hostas. They'll all get flowers. Yeah, but I'm going to move these ones because I don't like where they are. But these, these hostas are also getting flowers. Can you see those? Yeah, so very beautiful. I love, this is like a lavender color. Very nice. Yeah, very pretty. Okay, so, okay, so our lavender has not got purple on it. But I mean, like, Tegan, look at these hairs. This They're is Berlin. Crazy. Berlin hair. This is Berlin hair. Berlin hair is growing out, is getting all of these like seed little things. And then you it's, can see it's, the. It's almost like a carpet. It is kind of like a carpet and um, they're huge. And then all of this, um, all of this lavender, this is all lavender here. None of it is unfortunately bloomed or like is purple, but it's, I mean, it's just growing. It's just crazy. So maybe it won't happen this year. And okay. then, we, and then we've got grandma's hair. <laughs> Your guys' comments are hilarious. Okay, grandma's hair is it's 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 getting some real height to it. Yeah, it really is. These these guys are still pretty little, but they're they're getting bigger. They're yeah. getting bigger. Okay, mommy, ready? <laughs> Mom's in the hammock. Whoa! Wow, the hammock looks amazing. Doesn't it look nice? And mom, you got mom got this hammock in Brazil, right? She slept on the hammock for 10 days on a riverboat in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Can you see how big these ferns are too? Yes. Everything's just exploded. You know, lay in it. Go ahead. I did lay on it for 10 days. Yeah, for 10 days. I had Segella poisoning. Yeah. Wait, so you actually, you slept in that like overnight? Yeah, it was our bed. That was her bed on the boat. She had to sleep oh. in that. These ferns are just like it's not magnificent. That when you're sick to your stomach, though. Yeah. Okay, so here's mom. She's in the thing. There she is. Isn't it nice? There's a bunch of bird feeders I hung up over here. So sometimes when you're laying in here, the chickadees and the 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 birds, the other birds just come and hang out. There's mom. She's in there. Look at these ferns, though. Look at how freaking huge they are. Wow. I like the height going down. Yeah. Sorry, I apologize about the... Uh... It's fine. Apologies about this that's happening. Okay, so that's so this is the fern corner is really a surprise to me because I just thought it was going to be like a bunch of boring ferns, but these ferns are huge. Like you can see mom's legs walking. This is like a jungle. Well, mom, why, why, mom, why don't you walk through there? Well, there that's not, not quite a jungle. It's only up to her knees, but. I know, but those are huge. They're huge ferns. I don't know. I'm just very excited by them. <laughs> oh, wow. There. Great they're... excellent. No, no, no. Show mom. Okay, yep. so there's mom. Yeah. Very big. Wow. Okay. So then we're moving over here. It's, I'm just very excited. The garden has really come in here. These are the lupines. The lupines are all kind of like they've all bloomed and now they're kind of dying off. So they don't look as fantastic as they did a few weeks ago. So but what do you still... do? do I, when, when the lupines die off, what does that mean? They just well, don't have, yeah, like just you don't have to you... pull them out of the ground or something. No, 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 no. They'll grow oh, back again. They, yeah, they'll come back in the spring, but see, they get these little, um, they get these little pods. Okay, can we pause for a second? Hold on. People, there's some comments about Sarah's connection. Are you guys having trouble seeing Sarah? I'm seeing her just fine, but if you're having trouble, there's some comments about maybe. I, I'm seeing you completely fine, and I'm, I'm not on, um, I'm not on Wi-Fi, so this is just what you get. Okay, sorry to the people who can't see Sarah. I'll assure you, everything looks great. Continue the tour. Okay, so these little, so this is the lupine has like, there's no, so like, you know, you get these kind of colorful things on top of it. But once they're gone, you just get these little pods, which mom, you said, if we break these pods off and open them, they have seeds. And you can spread the seeds on the ground and you might end up getting more 
Yeah. Lupines. Like if you open them up. They look like little peapods. Yeah, they have like little seeds inside. Oh. And what now? You just like scatter those? Well, if you were to throw them on the ground, they'll like, they'll spread. Like lupines get bigger. Like they get big, abundant. Yeah. Things. So then we're over into the, um, these are all of the hydrangeas that haven't, that yeah, sadly haven't, have not bloomed. I haven't got any, but I think no. that's upsetting because we planted them in the spring, so they're probably... It's true. Yep. Yeah. So now we're just heading over, heading over to this area, which is very exciting. Oh, wait. This is the gunnera. Mom, can you go shift into frame there so I can see how big the gunnera is? Yeah. No, it's a, it's a big plant. It's getting big. See? 14 feet. 14 feet, potentially. 14, feet tall. Wow. And the leaves get, like, that big. Like, giant. And very then there's, impressive. Then there's all the hydrangeas of have bloomed they're pretty right very look beautiful this. look at this so beautiful Isn't that nice it is really nice how come plants are often just like those plants are just those colors we don't know that's your you're at, I think when she says person upstairs, she doesn't mean God. I think she just means someone on the internet who understands plant, God. plant gods. I see. Very beautiful. Yeah. It's, re it's really gorgeous. The, the backyard's looking really amazing. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good about it. Feeling... It's important to remember that these are all brand new, um, these are all brand new cuttings and plants. So it's true. The first year they take time to root. Mm -hmm. And then when next year, they'll be much bigger and they'll also have a lot more flowers and stuff. That's but true. it takes a few years for them to kind of get through this. Mm -hmm. But this is sage advice, especially for your podcast mom, Swipe Right. Yeah. You know, like ultimately, you know, as you are developing yourself, once you plant and start to grow, it takes time to bloom. Sometimes it's not, you're not going to bloom this year necessarily. Yeah, sometimes it's just about planting seeds. There you go. Plant the seeds. What lovely, what lovely um, sage advice to end on. Let's look at this peony tree before we wrap up the show. Oh, you got Big Ben? There she is. Hi, Holiday. There she is. Holiday. How much would someone have to pay for you to give up Holiday? Oh, she's priceless. There's no price for me. I would yes, yesterday you. she yesterday when I was over she let me pet her. Hi. Hi girl. Hi girl. Hi. Okay, and then there's the other one. Hi, Mickey. Oh, you guys are so famous. Huh. <laughs> Get it, Holiday. <laughs> Get it. She's going to clean her foot now for like 45 minutes. Okay. Well, about? so, okay, look at this tree. Mom, mm -hmm. get in there for perspective. It's a big, it's a big tree. Wow. It's big. Yeah, it's big. And so, sorry, this is called what again? Sorry. Peony tree. It's a peony tree. A peony tree. Okay. That's Let's talk about calling out siesta. Love it. Um, okay. So this is the problem. I'm coming in here close. But mom, what we noticed is that some of these branches seem like they're getting so heavy that they're kind of, it feels like they're breaking. I mean, I tied it up last night. Are you telling me I did a good enough job that you didn't yeah, notice? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, like, it's just like they're getting so heavy, they were starting to, like, bend over and crease and fall. Here's the thing about um, pruning this. I don't think that we should prune it because just at leave this it. point, it's setting buds for next year. So these are the flowers that you have. And peony trees are really sensitive. They don't like to be moved, and they don't like to have a lot of, 
kind of like touchy. Kind watch of out stuff for the watch here. out for the spider right here. Right here. Oh, there. Um, so the buds are being set in the in the plants right now, and so we don't want to cut anything back. Um, okay, you think I've done an okay job just I tying it up like really, that? I think it looks really good. The problem with this thin string, so see how thin your string It's cutting is? into the thing. It, well, these are getting bark, so that's good. But when you put it against something like this, it can cut into it. So you want more of a twine than a thin like cord like this. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you're doing yeah, a really done. good job. I feel like it looks great. <laughs> and there's a lot of new leaves. Like it's starting to get a bunch of new little... Like, look at all the little kind of leaves that are in here. I feel like it really... Mom's really up. into this. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, Mom. Really Thank you. It really does like it. And look at... Let's just one... We'll end on this. But these roses are coming back, too. Yeah, this guy, It's impressive. This guy is like, I really need to have some, some pruning. Do you, do you think some pruning? Okay, well, yeah. maybe we'll do that when the all camera's these, off. All these purple things need to be pruned a little bit. Oh, shit. Okay. This is the way that this should look. It should look down there, yeah. And then this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then this is, don't, don't walk into the spider web. There you go. And then we've got this big, nice, we've never bought one of these. I feel like this is, I always thought that like, just like old people bought these kinds of yeah, plant like, flowering yeah, yeah. things, but it's just grown to look so beautiful. I guess I'm old now. You are old now. Um, There's a show called, um, uh, on Hey You called, I don't know, Zoom 21, and the 19 year old, 16 to 19 year old daughters. Are Sorry, we can't hear mom. Oh, sorry. The 16 to 19 year old daughters are exposing their mothers to uh, kind of get them like, you know, updated into life. And they're like 32 to 41 year olds that they feel are like really old fashioned and need to be updated. So that's how you, that's, you think I'm not, which, who's that? You in the series? Or it's I'm the, you. You're oh. the mother in the series. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, I All want right, should to, we wrap I, this up? Well, yeah, just settle down. One thing I want to talk about is um, before, as, as we do wrap up the show is um, how lovely it's been to visit your garden. We're going to do one last episode of Where Does a Good Grow next Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, and as per our usual, we'll end the show by talking about how grateful we are that you all have been watching and also how um, incredibly humbled and, and, and just like truly grateful we are that you all have been buying tons of merchandise and, uh, been giving us lots of funny comments and participating in some of our online activity. And we really thank all of you very, very much for that. We um, uh, just restocked our online merch store and we have some mm -hmm. new Where, Do Where Does the Good Grow t-shirts. We have a tie-dye and uh, a heather gray and, uh, and then still like our kind of like squash yellow um, shirt. So definitely go check those out. We have some new masks we may or may not have a bandana coming. That's where it is a good growth themed. We've got lots of really good stuff coming up. And um, yeah, we just want to say thanks to all of you for supporting. It's really exciting to see your photos. If you order to where it is a good growth t-shirt, please tag yourself and put a photo up on Instagram. We love seeing it. Thank you, mom, for being on the show. You're welcome. <laughs>